Hi guys, this is Cy from Cyanide Software. Uh, today we're going to go through and talk about our archiving, um, archiving projects in our Unite utility. Uh, the first thing to know is if you see this disabled up here and you're not able to archive, it's because you still have missing files. So you either need to uh, strip the paths, clear them, or find the assets before you can go into um, archiving this file properly couple things to remember, um, and actually I have a scene here that's got a lot of weird stuff in it. Um, there's everything is in all sorts of XREFs. Um, there's everything in here from real flow uh, fountains to proxies that are trees, animated people that are X meshes. Um, there's a whole bunch of different stuff going on here. So if we go in here and actually just look at what's in the asset tracker, you're going to see, yeah, there's XREFs. Uh, there's materials that are linked sort of all over the place um, and a lot of stuff that doesn't show up in here. So none of your uh, real flow stuff will show up in the asset tracker. There's a lot of stuff that's missed. So if you were to use Max's regular archive, uh, it's not going to gather and relink all those assets for you properly. Uh, so let's jump into this one. Let's uh, fire this up and I'll go into archive project. Uh, the one thing we do have is under archive properties, uh, you can actually turn off a lot of this stuff. So if you're just putting this together and archiving this to put on tape drive, you're not going to want to grab all your effects from your effects drives. You might want to turn off a lot of this stuff. Uh, but if you are, say, giving this to a client or you need to send this to, say, Rebus to render, you're going to need to collect all these assets properly. So let's go ahead and I'll just close this down. I have everything sort of set. Uh, I am going to go and let's just find a place to put this. I uh, will throw this just on my D drive here and we'll call this test. Huh. Typical name. All right, and I will set and start archiving this project. Okay, so if I look at my D drive, under relink, I have test here. It's gonna start creating the folders as we need to, as it sort of finds and archives everything here. I'm gonna pause this. Uh, it'll probably, this is a really big file. It's got a lot of assets. So I'm gonna let this. All right, guys, so, um, it's actually given us a nice little clean folder structure for uh, our new archive project. Uh, it's named the file in, uh, for whatever we've, we've named it. In our case, it was test. Uh, it's put all of our XREF scenes in here. It's also gone in and changed all the links in the XREF scenes as well. Uh, you can see everything for XMesh is in here, so it's put all our meshes into this directory. Uh, our tex texture directory is just one texture directory, so if it finds duplicate files, it doesn't copy those over. Um, if it is a file with the same name, but it's a different size, we rename that and relink that. Uh, we have our real flow files inside here, and then last, uh, our proxy file. So. Um, it hasn't done anything, of course, to this main file, but if we were to go now and close that up, open that, it would give us uh, all the new files relinked and everything like that. Okay, and also keep checking this little question mark up here. If you press this, this will open up the website. Uh, it'll show you sort of our help video for it and tell you um, what's been updated in here. So, of course, anything with the check marks, good, it's been done. Anything with a yellow dash we're still working on or are waiting for um, the companies, the developers who created the software to just give us some info. Uh, and anything that's marked red is not possible to do. So XREFs inside XREFs, we can't relink um, stuff inside that. Uh, also stuff that's just not uh, applicable, so um, if you have uh, light cache files inside your XREF, it's not going to go through and look for those. So thanks a lot guys, and um, check out always what's going on on our Facebook page and um, uh, see what new stuff we have coming out. Thanks a lot guys, see you.